When I pet him, Gary is no different than a dog. Like puppy behavior. Come Gary. <laughs> I am Angela, and this is a scary story for GeoB. When my son, at the time he would have been 11, came to me two years ago and asked us for pet rats, my initial reaction was very fear-based, but I kind of challenged myself, and he got the two rats for his birthday. Gary, come. A oh, good boy. We ended up saving Bob and Gary from being snake food. Hi, boys. They were theater rats. Hi. The man brought out a bin of male rats, and we were just told to pick two. So we saved Bob and Gary. It was very sobering when I first got them. Any fear I had of them was so out the window because you saw how scared they were. Your initial reaction is to just want to comfort them and be with them. They're prey animals, so they're just scared of everything. Bob. So gaining their trust took a lot of time. Here you are. A good two months until they would willingly come to us and have that interaction. Bob. Bob a Rooney. The only time they were in their cage was bedtime. So we really embraced them with us. They totally know their names. Hi, Bob. Come on, Gary. Okay, Bob, come on. Gary. Those are cat grass? Gary was kind of the runt, and ever since we took him in, he just wanted to cuddle and be with you all the time. He loved hoods, so anything with a big hood, he will just kind of snuggle up when taking that right against my neck. <laughs> Part of their trust in you is they start grooming you as well. Gary is definitely the alpha in between the two boys, but only because Bob lets him be the alpha. You okay, Bob? Gary, you want more food? Don't steal. He's very strong personality, likes to be in charge, likes to push Bob around, gets jealous of me, so if I'm petting Bob, he'll come and want to be in there too. In the early days, my daughter used to take Gary into her bed before bedtime, just as like quiet time with her and Gary. She went for a sleepover one night and I looked up and down. We could not find him. He was in her bed. Like it was the cutest thing. I don't know how, but he had managed to get on her bed and he was sleeping under the blankets where he kind of always had been with her every night. Bob's still a little reserved. We realized that even since day one, he was just quiet. So it was a harder connection to make with him. But even today, we're finding he's coming out of his shell a little more each day. Don't do it. Hey. Gary picks on Bob a lot. The rats do something called forced grooming. Come here. They're grooming each other, but it's forced. So they pin each other down. It's part of their like alpha thing. Bob is such a sweetie and just takes it. Even though he's so much bigger and he could totally just knock him off his feet. You can see the difference when Bob's getting groomed. His eyes are open and I ask him if he needs help and he gives me kind of this look of save me mommy. Do you need some help? Maybe you lay off a bit. When Gary's getting groomed, he's loving it. He's like in heaven, right? Lying down, his eyes closed. They fight like brothers, but they love like brothers and they're always on top of each other, using each other as pillows. They're totally not what I expected. They're clean. They're litter trained, 100%. Again? We're doing this again? Gary! <laughs> they don't smell bad. It's like a neutral smell. They smell like nothing, Gary. If they need something or want me, they will physically latch onto my leg and climb up all the way to my shoulder. I think we bonded with them. Hey guys, hey Gary, have you bonded with me? I'm in awe by their sweetness, kindness, and just intelligence. <laughs> Gary. Bruxing and boggling are the signs of a happy, happy rat. They're grinding their teeth. At the same time, their eyes go in and out of their sockets. They're about a year and a half now, so they're close to end of life. They only live for two years. Even their say Gary can sense when I'm feeling stressed because I find that's when he comes to me and wants to cuddle me. Come on. And whether or not there's any like scientific truth to that, that's what it seems like happens. <laughs> And I know that sounds silly and cheesy, but the love of an animal and the trust of an animal like that, I can't even put it into words. I love you too, Gary. I've had pets, I've had dogs, but this is really something different. I love you.